Hi, welcome to our Tapas Watch Party. Don, how about you explain a little bit about what tapas are? Love to. So the history and the definition of tapas. Every bar, every cafe in Spain serves food while people are drinking. And, you know, it's not such a novel idea. The king saw that people might have been drinking a little too much. So one of the theories is that he commanded all cafes to serve food with alcohol. Well, you know, pretty good idea, but what developed from there were these remarkable little plates filled with very distinctive, very unique, very regional, maybe even street by street, the tapas recipes change. So you can make those recipes, serve them on authentic tapas plates. Now there's another theory too, and that is this, that while you were drinking, the flies were dive bombing your wine, so you could put your tapas plate right over your glass of wine, just like that. However it went down, we make tapas, we serve it, authentic, beautiful little plates. So today in our watch party we are featuring these products. We have our grating plates and marinating bowls. What you do is you pour a little bit of olive oil, grate some garlic, maybe a tomato, I make a salad dressing, tomato compound, throw that right over some crusty bread. Now our cruets are porcelain and they're porcelain because porcelain's non-porous. There's no leakage, your olive oil stays fresh as it's kept in a nice dark place on your countertop. Garlic keepers. Garlic likes to live in a dark, well-ventilated place. So this way, your garlic can breathe. It stays fresh for weeks on your countertop. Our sartens and cazuelas are special because these are made with Spanish clay. It's a slow, even heat. Uh, your proteins cook very uh, evenly, so you get succulent shrimp, um, really moist proteins. Salsa bowls, perfect for serving. Uh, for me, some place, chop all of your onions, have everything ready to go on hand. You can fill these with olives, um, have one for olives, one for their pits, condiments, uh, platters. These are also made with Spanish clay, so these two can go in the oven. You heat your platter through so that once you add your food, it stays hot for the duration of your party. So we have five recipes to show you in five minutes, and we can't wait. The first recipe I'm showing you today is tomato compon, a staple at bars and restaurants in Spain, made with very few ingredients with an excellent end result. Slice a crusty loaf of bread lengthwise. Grate two cloves of garlic and brush over the bread, then toast. Grate four to five tomatoes in grating bowl. Pour over bread. Spread evenly. Drizzle with olive oil, slice, and serve. How easy was that? It's just a couple of ingredients. Great way to start your party. I'm making garlic shrimp, a healthy, low-fat, protein-packed finger food you, your family, your guests, you're gonna love. Drizzle olive oil over grater plate. Grate eight garlic cloves and add to heated olive oil in cazuela sauteing until fragrant. Add one pound raw shrimp and saute until pink. Finish with red pepper flakes and paprika. These are so delicious and easy, I can't wait to try one. Smoked Spanish almonds, a delicious, easy to throw together 10 minute recipe you and your friends are sure to enjoy. Heat three to four tablespoons of olive oil in cazuela. Add one tablespoon smoked paprika and one teaspoon cumin. Stir in two cups of almonds, coating them evenly. 
Roast at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Sprinkle with coarse salt. These are going to become a staple at all of your parties or even just when you need a little snack. I'm making Spanish tortilla. This humble recipe is the number one tapas in Spain. Made with only three ingredients, it's got remarkably tasty results. Peel and thinly slice one russet potato and one medium onion. Saute in sartan over low heat until softened but not browned. Pour four beaten eggs over potatoes and onion. Sprinkle with paprika and bake at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. The best thing about Spanish tortilla is that you can make this ahead and serve it at room temperature. Have a loaf of crusty bread lengthwise. Thinly slice manchego cheese and roasted red peppers. Drizzle bread with olive oil. Layer thinly sliced ham, manchego, and peppers. Slice into two inch pieces and serve. Thank you for coming to our tapas party. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you're hungry. Now, if you want to make these recipes yourself and use authentic Spanish pottery that is beautiful, the cooking vessels, the serving dishes, the bowls, cruets, all of that, and have your own tapas party. Enjoy.